got my man with his camera. Uh, candy, candy, candy camera. Uh, you know I can't lose, cause after tonight he's gonna put me on YouTube. Hey, uh, uh, the homeless, yes. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't mind coming to see some work, right? Right, right, right. Uh, I would love to. Okay, we have a garden now, man. Maybe we have a dinner or something, you say? Right, right. Uh, invite some homeless people. Okay. Uh, and some people from the, the city itself. Uh -huh. uh, what they call uh, the city council meeting. They have them down there, so we can get everybody in there. Right, right. And you might put them out for them to come back to see you here in my Right. Right. Well, I don't, I don't really, uh, you know, I don't really like to call the homeless homeless. You know, I like to call those people that we call homeless temporarily displaced. Yeah, because um, everybody has a chance to get some help, whether it's mental or physical, and we don't know. We don't know what takes someone over the edge to want to be in the street. So we're all eligible. You know, we can all be in the street at any minute, right. and we'll know what that feels like. That's why we all should think to help these people now. Right. You know, it, it, it takes a village to raise a child. Why not raise a man? True, true, you know? true. Why not raise a man? We're never done growing. No, never. To an 80 year old man, I'm just a baby. <laughs> so, you know, we're all over. Yeah. and we're all trying to find our way out here. Now, I've been, I've been so blessed that. I, I thought I was going to be homeless when I moved to Monterey. I had a motor home, I had dreadlocks down in my way, and I didn't know anyone. 200 bucks in my pocket. But through the grace of God, He's always sent an angel in my path. And I, I, I've always lived lavishly. Yeah, you know? And uh, keeps a smile on my face. So, as my mom used to tell me, your, your attitude is your altitude. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, chop a lot the top. I got my man Chop Chop Whoop Chop. He's a lot. He's my man. He hangs on my side. We down at the wharf and you know we just ride. Uh, I see the girl in the back. My Hawaii crew. How do you think about that? Oh man, I, I've been in the music since 69. Uh, uh, professionally since 78. Uh, I learned about reggae in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Uh, my brother brought home like three albums, and one was a Bob Marley album, one was Barcades, and one was Johnny Guitar Watson. And so I listened to the Bob Marley on, album on his strobe player, you know, record player, very, very nice record player, and I could pick up and understand what they were saying. So I go to school the next day and said, I didn't I know come to white place, I'm good, but give me a sweet spread, do it, I should go places. And the whole cafeteria gathered around me. Whoa, okay. Say more, we want more. Oh, don't you worry, cause every little thing is gonna be alright. I don't worry about it, people. Don't you worry, people. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Rise up this morning. I said, turn to the rising sun. Staying steady at the Mucky Duck because I don't want to. It's a small town. I don't want to oversaturate again. Okay. What about Monterey County? Oh, well, Monterey County. Um, I plan to play Seaside at the American Legion, different places like that. Uh, maybe take Santa Cruz trips once in a while. Okay. 